romancing el barrio, about you know this being like literally like our own our own landmark, you know, for whatever it was, for whatever it is, and for whatever it's becoming. So I used a lot of like cultural points of reference that are mine personally, but also belong to the community. It's very direct signage. It's like I'm tattooing a neighborhood, and reminding people that you gotta love the neighborhood because it's a lovely neighborhood. But up there, if you can see, there's Bad Bunny reminding everybody that Puerto Rico must be free, all right? Because that's what he's been touting ever since he got global attention, which I love him for. But I wanted to do something that addressed the whole topic of, of just global peace. In my own art studio in the west side, in the apartment, I created the imagery by itself, all the, all the dogs and all the animals. And then when I completed the actual positive imagery, uh, I was given this very storefront for three months. And in the span of those three months is where I had just had an open door pass policy that invited whoever would come through the door to actually do the background with me. And from the experience, I made friends with everybody in the building. The, the title of the mural is called Al Ritmo de la Paz, which means uh, to the rhythm of peace. You know, because as, as you can see, the design is actually visually very rhythmic, you know, where I'm using rhythm and music to actually stimulate me to create the project. But it's all about creating that, that, that synergy amongst us of having the same intention of providing peace for each other, peace and, and solidarity for each other. This is actually my favorite of all my perfect art projects because it's literally my sketch pad. This is when the owner of the building, Fred, had allowed me to, he gave me permission to use imagery that came from me um, for this wall that was not stuccoed yet. He, he did not re, uh, renovate the building yet. So he just wanted to have an, you know, some art up on the wall. With paper and the water-based paints that I had in my art studio, I created this imagery that was reflective of the images in my sketch pad from things that I'd learned in Brazil, Nigeria, and my own neighborhoods, you know, the Bronx and this neighborhood, East Harlem, and, and just, you know, uh, cultural and musical reference. And what I mean by diaspora is that I'm sourcing different, I guess, facets of who I am culturally. And that's something that I picked up in the projects, meaning with, with Black and Latino and, and Jewish and white and Italian people. And in early age, I recognized that no matter what, we were one community, one big familia crowd favorite actually for the neighborhood because these two gentlemen actually portray a, a rhythmic uh, dance routine culture that comes from Puerto Rico called Bomba that is actual the African presence in Puerto Rico and so there was a family that comes from a specific town in Puerto Rico called Luis Aldea and uh, they're called the Cepedas and so Tito lived in the neighborhood on 110th Street. He was a good friend of mine. And he was the go-to drummer of the neighborhood. Not only drummer, but he was the, de the drum teacher of his style. And his uncle, Roberto, had a technique in his program where he would literally, what we call by Lali Tambor, he would literally dance on the, on the surface of the drum itself. And that was part of his routine, his balancing. So in 2006, Hope community asked me to actually paint the mural of, of the, the Puerto Rican poet Julia de Burgos because at the time the councilwoman uh, Melissa Viverito had the, the street renamed after her. And so when they approached me, they asked me to actually paint the mural. I told them that I was not interested because my, my current romance was with mosaic work and that I was more interested in something a lot more permanent. And that's something that they, somebody else would decide to paint over years later. On her birthday is when the, the, the Latin, especially the Puerto Rican poets of, of New York, have an annual recital in front of this mural in honor of her. And so that's what I like because it's actually utilizing the mural, you know, as public <laughs> forum. You know? So it's utilizing the public art, not just, you know, living with it. And what I did was, instead of deciding that myself, I took excerpts, excerpts from four of her poems and put them up on the wall. And whoever came to visit me, I made them read the four poems and put a check 
on the, the poem that resonated the most. And this seemed to be the one.